Tayawa chi ungapi, good to see you all. Nancy Machiapi, Nancy Labo. I work here at St. Joe's. This is going on my eighth year this year. And I'm going to first of all apologize to my elders for speaking um, about our school, maybe, and this book that has a lot of Lakota words in it, and I'm not a fluent speaker, but I'm going to do my best. The book is Tashunta, a Lakota, Lakota horse legend by Donald Montalou. When Mother Earth was young, all things on her surface were learning their place. One day, a young warrior of the plains was hunting for game to feed his family, but game was hard to find. The winter had been long, and there were few animals in the area close to camp. The young man searched far from home to find new places to hunt. He came to a stream in a wooded area and knelt down to quench his thirst. A sharp noise made him lift his head. Out of the corner of his eye, he glimpsed movement and a flash of color. He froze and used all his skills as a hunter to sense this new game. But he was too slow. Quiet had returned to the woods. Cha oju wa al wapa wa ha cha al hina chunk pe aka mani yak kik de ha daku na hum cha pakashi ishta i hanke e ta daku shkashka wa o o wa cha wa yanke o wa jila hingle na ha wa ku wo wo pikak Ki iuha u daku ki ablesh wachi ayash lila hani cha oju ke he dakia inila he. The hunter walked toward the place where he had seen something move and found tracks in the earth. They were unlike any he knew. Curious and needing to find food for his family, he followed the trail. Waku wichasha ki daku shkashka wayanke wahe echek dia mania ye na makae uwe ya ieye. Tohani lechecha wayanke shni daku ki shlo ya chi naha di wahe tawaki wo yute wichaki chi. Four days he tracked the unseen animal. If animal it even was, about ready to give up, he felt the ground rumble. Umpetu dona wamashkashka wayanke shni he ule wamakashka hechi. Wana ayushta teha makaki nahu unze. Hundreds of beasts with fire surrounding their heads and flowing from their bodies thundered past him. The whole herd was as swift as the wind. Wamashkashka opawange donanata o omnina tachaki etaha ileya buyela opta iya yapi optayeki ata tateshe luzahampi. He ran after them, but the animals were faster than he was. He fell farther and farther behind. Wichakuwa ayas wamashkashka ki isamya ohankopi 
Shamyes Muha Iya Ya. As he cleared the top of the ridge, he suddenly dropped flat onto the ground. The herd had stopped to drink from a stream just ahead of him. All the beasts shimmered in the sun in colors he had never seen before. Red, blue, yellow, and green flowed along their necks and tails. Paha Aliya Wakaka Ta Iha Ognahila U Vashka Yela Hi Kupaye Ichie Itoka Wakawa El Otaila Mani Yakta Najipi Wam Wamashkashka Ki Iuha Mashte U Wea Pakapi O Oakile Pohani Wayanke Shni Tahuna Sente Ognagna Shana Tona Zi Nahatozipi. Their beauty dazzled the young warrior. He followed them for weeks across the plains. He learned their movements and habits. He wanted to catch one so that he could travel as fast as the wind. Zuya wichashaki uwa yang washtepi u ioshnije oblaye opta oka dona wichiha kob u dogeshke oshki chiapena ayapeki hena unspe i chi chie waja o yuspe chi he chata tate se o hank o hankoya. Omamukte. I ain't getting this right. Okay. At last, he found himself close to one of the younger animals. The warrior talked to the pony in a quiet voice and rubbed its flank. The pony allowed the young man onto his back, and together they learned to cover the miles quickly. Kitanhei. Momashkashka te cha wa el kiela i zuya we chasha ki ho nishkala u wo ki yake naha o yute ki kawite shun chi kala ki koshkala he chue el akan yake ki e na no bi ma ki yutapi ki ohan koya e um speci chichiapi. The young man trained other horses until one day he noticed that the sun's heat was weaker and the nights were becoming cold. His time away from his tribe and family had grown too long. He gathered his mounts and journeyed home. Koshkalalaka ki uma shukawaka ko wicha ka unste echel ambetuwa. Al Daku Able Ze Wiki Hehan Kateshni Na Kunhepi Ki Osni Aye Ehas Oyate Tawa Na Tiwahe Tawa Eta Lila Tehan Shuko Wakan Ki Putayela Iwicha Ki Chu Na Tia Dakia Kigle He whooped as he got close to his camp, and family members ran from the teepees to greet him. They stopped in fear as they saw his new companions, young and old, watched with wide eyes and fearful murmurs as the warrior rode into camp with his small herd of colorful ponies. Ti kiela glehu akishasha tiwahe umpihena tipi etaha iyushkina. Iyankapi ki chicha hena wa wi cha ya kapina ko wi cha papi cha inajipi te cha na ka ki wa wi cha ya kapina ista nishkaska u ko ki kapi ka el iblipi ti chon zuya wi cha cha ki he shuka waka ki to Tokcha Oktaye Chikala Tawaki Oti E. Glihuni. The young man showed his people how to touch the animals and then to ride them. 
The tribe began to hunt and travel farther than they had before. They had no trouble finding game. Soon, they had plenty to eat and new clothes to wear. The tribe became wealthy and strong. They took pride in their newfound strength. They started pushing other tribes out of their path. They claimed lands that before had been used by everyone. All who stood in their way were driven out. The great spirit looked on in sadness. Tashuka, the horse, had been his gift to all the people. Instead, one tribe was abusing the gift. They were growing wealthy while others were going hungry. So the great spirit took the gift away. Wakantanka wa wichayanke na iyo shichi shiche tashunka he oyate ki iyuha wachiaku e chaye oyate wanji wa wi chakupi he u shichaya kuwapi hena chicha ayapi na koha umahena i inch lochini pi once again, all the people were the same, walking the earth and finding life hard, and they missed Tashunka. Chaake oyate ki iyuha, hek dakia ubi, maka manipi, na wichoni ki otehi ke iyeyapi, Tashunka ki. Many centuries passed. The elders told the story of Tashunka to the children of the tribe. As they grew up, they remembered the gift of the Great Spirit. But they also knew that the horse had been taken away because they had used it to hurt others. Omaka, Opawanje, Ota Iaye, Waka ki Tashunka, Wicho Oyake. He oyate eta wakaeja ki owicha ki yakapi. Ichagi api echa wakantanka wa uicha ku wahe ki shu yapi. Nale na ku slo yapi. Shunko wakan ki u oyate uma ki shu ye. Uicha yapi che he u hena uicha ki pi. One day, a warrior was out hunting, and he saw a bright light twinkling in the distance. Ambetu wa al zuya wichasha wa wakabu ka iyu zeyata eyoyu ba wa i lehelega cha wayanke. He worked his way closer and discovered a strange man riding an animal he had never seen before. The warrior remembered the stories of his elders and knew that the animal must be Tashunka, the horse. Yina kayela i yunka wichasha to kecha wa wamakashka wa tohani wa yankeshni cha akaya kecha ablezi. Zuya wichasha i ehani wicho oyake ya wakaki oyaka hena. Ki kush kuse neha wa makashka ki tushuka wa he e secha cha shloye. 
In the years that followed, more strangers passed through the land. These newcomers brought many horses with them. Soon the tribes had horses once again. Monietu, Donahe, Ohaka, Oyate, Dokecha, Sum Ota, Makoche, Ki, Okta, Iyayapu, Oyate, Lechala, Ki, Lena, Shunka, Waka, Ota, Awicha, Hipi, Echani, Oyate, Ki, Ake, Shunka, Wakan, Wicha, you happy. The return of Tashunka to the Plains people was the Great Spirit's way of forgiveness. The people of the Plains became wealthy as the horse re-entered their camps, and the great horsemen rode the Plains once again. Lakota Oyate ki wakantanka awicha ki chi dunja chahe o shunka wakan ki glipi shunka wakan ki ake wi chote al glipi na ake wi chasha shun wopi ka hena ublaye tanka ki ata shanka shunka ka yanka na nipi. And that is the end of the story of the Tashunka. Thank you um, again for listening to the story. And sorry again to my elders and my fluent speakers about my Lakota um, speaking, but I did my best. Doksha Ake. Okay.